Hello, I'm Bruce Shane, and today we're going to take a look at a favorite demonstration that's done with polymers. In this case, we're either looking at balloons or plastic bags. Now, the idea is that we fill the balloon up with air, and we take this wooden dowel, and if we apply it in the right position, we can actually stick the, the dowel right through the balloon. So, I'm going to put a little bit of soap on it just to lubricate it. And if I do this very carefully, right at the very bottom, Turn it as I'm pushing, it goes in, and I can push it through, the other end, <laughs> well that didn't work. Now the positions I want to push through are the very bottom and up near the top where I tie it because the material is thicker there and it has less stress than it does on the sides. Might even be able to get two of them in there. Let me try it again here. So we can actually get two or three dowels going through this balloon. Now, uh, why does this work? These materials are polymers. They're made of long chains of molecules that are able to stretch and get pushed aside as that dowel goes through them. But if we try and stretch them too much, of course they will break. Now let's try something a little bit more challenging. How about if we did this with water inside the balloon rather than air? Get your tablet wet. Balloon on the side. Actually, it, works. it seems to work better actually with water in it than it did with air. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now pull it out. Pull it out. <laughs> Come on, you should train your balloon for that. We're at the front door. Pull out. Uh -oh. ah! I said, you catch it chucking at me and I'm, and I'm missing. You get me wet. That's how it works. I don't want to do this. Oh! That would work better. That would work better. Now the balloons are quite challenging, especially when you fill them with water, and I only have a success rate of about 50%. So if you want to try something a little bit safer, we can try this with a plastic bag. Let me go put some water in it. So here's a bag that has some water in it. Let's take our skewer, put a little soap on it, and push it through. And no leaks. Let's try it again. Get a second one through here. And we can keep adding these wooden dowels to it. <laughs> now the fun part of this is sometimes we'll take this and do this over a student's head and uh, they worry about getting wet, but it's actually a fairly safe demonstration. Uh, well, man, I'm seeing a jiggle. <laughs> I jiggle? I see a drop coming down. I jiggle. Oh, good job, Miss Reedy. Nice. Is gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna get so mad. Oh okay. Uh, try, try a pencil. I got it. Don't even oil it. Just go. Oh no! Have a nice day. Add it. This is why we don't have nice days. We used yep, to, fine. but now we don't. This is why our school has medical supplies. Just smell good. Cause Addie. Addie's gonna be the one to break it. All over herself. So now that we've done this with small balloons and plastic bags, I think it's time to go larger. In this case, we're going to use these large trash bags. I have eight gallons of water and these large wooden dowels. Uh, once again, we're going to go outside and try this. And for this demonstration, I have a special guest that's offered her assistance. Okay. Uh, I need some water. Okay. Okay. Okay, I need some guys to lift. It's heavy. Come on, Mr. Miller, what's your name? Good. That's why you took it Okay, Dr. Flocken has agreed to be my guinea pig for this. My, uh, 
test subject that's hope this works. If not, she's my boss, so I'm in big trouble. <laughs> Yeah, hold on to the red, please. There's one. Let's go to the big one. Is it me? Are you right there on the other side? No, they're not holding that. There's two. How are we doing? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to that. They're all like, who's holding it, who's not holding it? It's been really hard. Alright, I got it. Yes, Mr. Miller ought to hold it. I got it. That's not water, that's actually just soap. Uh, <laughs> no, some drip. That was. That's okay. All right, we're good. We'll do one more. Okay. Okay. There we go. Round of applause. There we go. Wait, we still need two Okay, now we gotta pull them out. No. Wolfling, stand underneath. I got two more. Now it is possible to go even larger. In this case, I'm using a mattress bag. It holds about 25 gallons of water, and I'm sticking brooms and these large other dowels through it. And once again, it doesn't leak. 